been lucky in the sense that I grew up knowing what I wanted to do with myself as far as my career is concerned. I, I already knew that I wanted to be a journalist and you know, if not a journalist, then I, you know, a lawyer, but journalism was my first choice and my first love as far as career is concerned. But I've come to know that there are people who perhaps, who do not have this privilege, if I can even use that word. So you go on about your life without knowing exactly what you are good at or what uh, aligns with your gifts and talents and what you can do. And so people end up in, in careers that they're very unhappy uh, in. I know a couple of people like that and who uh, at some point decided to chase after their dreams, perhaps go back to school and get the necessary uh, education and skills they need for them to leave out what they feel they've been called to be and what aligns uh, with their abilities and, and talents and all that and giftings. And so that is well and good. There are so many adults that I know today who are going about their life. I can't even imagine what that uh, could be like. You wake up in the morning, you go to a job that you don't even like, and you sit there, do it, come back home, very unsatisfied. But because you know when you do something that you really don't like, you never get the satisfaction out of it, however much you've been paid to do it, however much the conditions are favorable. Uh, you know, but I know times are tough, so, uh, you know, sometimes you just ha I'm glad that you have a job. But doing something that you feel is not bringing you the satisfaction that you should be having from a job, that can be the most, I can imagine, can be the most difficult of things. And there are people who end up living their entire life without knowing exactly what they were supposed to be doing with their lives as far as their careers uh, is concerned. I know a couple of people like that. And maybe this could be a good lesson for us, especially for those who are parents. Uh, because you know, what I have learned is from my own experience and for a few people I know around me that I've known from a very young age, what we are meant to be in life as far as our careers is concerned sometimes shows up very early in our lives when we are kids. So we might need to pay a bit more of attention in things that our children have proclivity towards. What do they like to do? When they're playing pretend outside, you know, those little household games the children love to play, what do they, what do they, what, do, what are they saying? What kind of language are they speaking? What do they like pretending to be? You know, what, what fascinates them when they get a chance to watch or to interact with? Through these very small clues, you might get to know what your child wants to be in future if you're very, very keen, okay? And you can tap on that and if you're able, then you can pick on it and see how you can nurture uh, these proclivities and see if it, if it goes anywhere. And sometimes they can be interested in one, two, three things, not just one thing but you pick on it you support it you nurture it for fun no pressure and see uh do they still want to do it after some point or this is just something you know that they just want to have fun with as kids sometimes you know love to do but it is in the smallest of details these little things that children do that i used to do growing up that i knew at some very young age i wanted to be a journalist my love for watching very fascinated you know watching a news anchor anchoring the news and how you would find me with a newspaper around the house just reading out loud standing in the mirror and pretending that you know what i'll be the next big thing in media i i knew it very early uh you know um earlier on and for many other people, when you hear their stories, uh, you know, for those who are lucky to recognize what they wanted to be at a very young age, it is in, this, in the details of the very minute things that children get attracted to uh, that can lead to, that leads them towards perhaps who they're supposed to be. So if you're wondering what it is that you're supposed to be doing, even as an adult, you've not found your path yet as far as career and what you're good at is concerned, can you just look back and think that perhaps you you enjoyed when you were a kid, the things you wished you, you could be when you were a child, you were not keen on identifying some of these things and help you nurture them. 
but it's never too late it's never too late i cannot imagine waking up every morning and going to a job that i don't like i don't know what that would feel like for me because i enjoy what i do i've loved to enjoy it i get a lot of pleasure i can do it for free i can do it anytime it is something that i enjoy doing uh you know and not just to, to for a paycheck but just you know for me you know because it is it is what i love to do so but it's not too late for you if you start in something that you feel it's not for you it's not too late i have known people who have gone back to school at a very advanced age i know people who have had to start all over again at a very advanced age and story the story goes on take a chance on yourself and see what else is out there for you i guarantee you if you're sitting there and every day you wake up going to work and you feel there's got to be more than just what i'm doing the chances are there's actually something more out there for you okay and if perhaps you have a clue in your head in your heart and you perhaps know what what um, a path you would wish to to change and take then uh, take a chance on yourself and trust your gut feelings and dare to pursue and to go for something that you know you've been called to do and that aligns with who you're supposed to be